Hey guys, Andy here, and today is a very special day. Yes, because today marks my 1,000th day back in Japan. Now, full transparency, I'm actually recording this a few days ahead of my 1,000th day, and at the time it's recording, there is a typhoon going through the Tokyo Kanagawa area. So if you hear a bunch of rain and wind splashing and stuff, it is what it is, Shogunai. But I did want to record this video and get it out on a timely manner, so I'm recording it a few days ahead. But we're just going to pretend that it's actually my 1,000th day, so okay? Okay. So on this, my 1,000th day back in Japan, I wanted to share with you guys my experiences so far being back in the country. As you guys know, I originally came to Japan as part of the US Navy when I was stationed in Yokosuka, Japan on board USS Lassen DDG-82 from 2013 to 2015 when I got out. And initially when I got out, I wanted to use the GI Bill to study, get my bachelor's degree and come back to Japan as an English teacher. But as you guys all know, life takes many turns. I eventually learned that I could use my GI Bill to study abroad in Japan, formulated a plan, applied to Lakeland University of Japan, eventually got accepted, saved a bunch of money, got my ass back here to Japan on December 28th, 2019. And so today on September 23rd, 2022, marks my 1000th day back in Japan. But when I re-arrived back in Japan, I had a little bit of a Japan, if you will. And that was to not only get my bachelor's degree, obviously, but it was to also socialize, get myself out there, get good at them Nihongos, experience Japan a lot more than what I had initially done during my time stationed in Yokosuka. But obviously a little something happened in 2020 that uh, put the old kibosh on that. And I went from making new friends and socializing with Japanese people and starting to get my Japanese back to where it used to be. Went to Zoom rooms to uh, study and also did some work from home stuff as well. So all this was definitely a crushing defeat for socializing and uh, getting good at the Nihongos by actually talking with people. It did present a lot of really interesting opportunities, namely in videography. So through my network of friends and friends as friends and friends as friends as friends, I came across a lot of different uh, video editing, video shooting opportunities. So while I couldn't get out and socialize with a whole lot of my classmates or anybody else really, I decided to take the opportunity to instead improve on my videography. And so I took part in a lot of freelance video editing, shooting projects, made a fair bit of money, not a king's ransom, mind you, but uh, enough to be able to make upgrades to my equipment, namely my camera, lenses, microphone, lights, and thus I was able to make even better videos and be part of even bigger projects. Even though this was happening, uh, my social life was pretty much non-existent. When we did eventually go back to in-person classes at the beginning of this year, 2022, woo, it just wasn't quite the same as it was when I was going back to classes at the very beginning of 2020. Uh, a lot has had changed for me personally at that time. You know, I'd grown to be very comfortable doing stuff online, whether it was doing classwork from home, working from home as well. I got a lot of video editing gigs and stuff like that just sitting at home. So I didn't have to go out on video shoots as much anymore either. And I got really comfortable with that setup. And when we went back to in-person classes, it just wasn't the same. And also, by the time we got back to in-person classes, I was getting very close to graduating. So it wasn't like, you know, I was really all that tempted to get out there and socialize because I was only gonna see these guys for a couple months and then peace out. I decided to go back to doing online classes. I talked with my professors about it and they said, well, since you're graduating in a few semesters and your grades are really good, eh, it's, it's fine. And plus a lot of other students decided to do all online classes anyway, just because a lot of them uh, during the you know what decided to move back in with their parents and their parents 
don't all live in the Tokyo area, it would be very hard for them to, to commute. So they just did online classes as well. So I just kind of fell into that in the background and continued my education just doing online classes. By the time I graduated and kind of the finality of all that had sort of passed me and you know I'd realized my my dream of being the first in my family to graduate college and it still feels awesome even today to say that. Uh, but once you know the pomp and circumstance literally <laughs> Once all that kind of faded away and the realities of life kind of came to the forefront of, well, what's next? You know, I kind of realized that, you know, I haven't really done as much as I wanted to do. So now that I'm able to get a work visa, I want to continue my stay here in Japan and to continue to experience the cultures and to meet with people and to improve my Japanese now that I don't have school to worry about. So I do want to talk about more of the working side of Japan as well, talking about work visas and stuff like that. But I want to save that for a future video. Once everything has been processed and cleared, then I'll be sure to talk to you guys as heads off about what's going on in my life in that regard. But uh, for now, we'll just uh, Keep it hush hush. I think that's all I want to say about that. With all that said, this is Andy. Not for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.